All right, good morning. This year, more than 330 pieces of art were submitted by artists of all ages. And here to talk about the art program, Jason Black is here from the Community Renewal Team. Also, Stanley Valensis and his friend Kathleen Hutter are here, and they're a local artist. So first of all, thank you guys for being here today. Um, so Jason, tell us a little bit about what is going on here yeah. with this show and, and what makes it so exciting. Great, Dan, thanks for having us this morning. We really appreciate it. Yeah, so CRT, we are in partnership with the National Arts Program. This is the 29th year that we're doing this show here in the greater Hartford area and as you said artists from all over all ages young and old amateur and professional and everyone in between uh, if you're from Hartford County or Middlesex County you are invited to submit your work to the show uh, as you said more than 330 pieces of art were submitted it's the most art we've had submitted to the show in at least the past 10 years now mm. uh, so we're really excited about that it's happening at Capital Community College uh, right in downtown Hartford and this morning uh, starting at 11 uh, is the award ceremony for the show. Stanley, tell us a little bit about like seeing your artwork up out there. You know, how does that feel to, to just have some recognition for it, to see it there? Well, um, I've, I've been in other art shows and uh, this one is special. And, uh, there's a, uh, I like that they have from uh, gr grade school mm -hmm. up to uh, teenagers, uh, each in a separate c category, so you're not competing against. There's professionals and there's intermediate mm -hmm. and uh, amateurs, and everybody's has a section of their own. Uh, so you're not going head to head with a professional or anything yeah. like that. And I love to see that people. Uh, especially the younger people are, are getting uh, recognition and it, it doesn't just go from the school to the kitchen drawer or something like that or up on the refrigerator yeah. Yeah. you know and uh, uh, I've, I've t uh, taught art classes and I have uh, the firm belief that everybody can do art. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes people are discouraged. Uh, oh, that's not perfect. I've done this for years. Uh, that that, uh, that village green thing, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, to, yes, expo to explain the past. <laughs> now, uh, art uh, uh, paint mm -hmm. is expensive, and you always have a little left in the bottom of the. Uh, well, I use a, a, a plain kitchen plate mm -hmm. to, to uh, for an easel, and I get some left over, so I put it on my paint. Uh, now, this, this is about ten years worth of paint. Yeah. And Kathleen, you didn't bring your paint pants today, I, but I hey, didn't. no, that's perfectly fine. I'm underdressed. Yeah, yeah, I, mean, I didn't bring mine either. But uh, with your with your work, what do you tend to focus on? Is there like a certain style that you're going for, or do you just kind of always like just paint whatever comes to mind? Well, it's a combination of painting whatever comes to mind. Mind. And also, my father was an artist, and he kind of instilled a love of barns and country life and things like that. And so that's what you'll see in my paintings. And um, that painting that I did, Undone, is actually an homage to him. His life was undone because he died at 59. Mm -hmm. And that was his tractor. So, like, oh, I painted wow. that in there oh, and just, you know, because it was plowing the field mm -hmm. and it was kind of like, you know, his life wasn't finished. Yeah. So, yeah. every time I paint, I always think of my dad and, you know, it's, and my sister and I love to paint. Both of us love to paint. And if I could make a living at it, I would be thrilled. Uh -huh. I just love to do it. And that's great. I mean, like, you go there and you just see that every paint, every portrait or every paint job has just so much feeling behind it. Yeah. And so it's just awesome to see. And Jason, when does this run until? Yeah, the show is happening again at Capital Community College now through March the 2nd. So anytime that the college itself is open, you can go and see the show. There's two galleries right on Main Street. And again, it's hundreds and hundreds of pieces that have been submitted to the National Art Show this year. We're really very excited. Perfect. All right. Thank you very much. For now, I'll send it back to you.